So now uh, let us find the value of n and c. So let us equate it. Uh, coefficient of the highest degree term that is x cube is so 0 so that will give us the value of so here uh, we will get 1 plus 2m minus n square into 1 plus 2m equal to 0 so we can factorize into 1 plus 2m into 1 minus n square so the values of m will be 1 minus 1 and minus 1 by 2 so these are going to be the values of m and again, uh, now let us substitute uh, the value of m into the coefficient of the second highest degree term. So, x square and the coefficient of m and the value substitute m that will give us the value of c. Now, uh, m value substitute m, if the equation vanishes through, we will go to the next coefficient. So, we are adding m. Uh, let us now substitute m equal to 1 first. So, this is the uh, coefficient of x square. When m is 1, you will get 2c minus 2c, then minus 6c plus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So, 2c will cancel off, 1 will cancel off, you will get c equal to 0. So, the first asymptote is y equal to uh, uh, mx plus c, that is x plus 0. So that is x. Now let us substitute the value of m equal to minus 1. So when m is minus 1, we will get 2c plus 2c varum minus 6c. Now then minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So that will give minus 2c equal to 2. So c is minus 1. So the asymptote is y equal to minus x minus 1. And when m is minus 1 by 2, we will get 2c. Uh, plus c varum uh, then uh, plus 3 m sorry we need to substitute for m for minus 6 by 4 c then minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 equal to 0 so we will get 3 c minus 3 c by 2 so that will be again 3 c by 2 uh, minus 3 by 4 equal to 0 so c value will be minus uh, plus 1 by 2. So, therefore, the asymptote is minus 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 2. So, these are our asymptotes. So, this is how uh, we find the uh, asymptote uh, using this method. So, let us look at one more problem. So, for y equal to mx plus c, so we will get mx plus c cube so this is our equation y cube minus 6 x y square plus 11 x square y minus 6 x cube plus x plus y equal to 0 so we will get mx plus c whole cube minus 6 x uh, mx plus c whole square minus plus 11 x square and then mx plus c minus 6 x cube plus x plus and equal to 0. So, let us first take the coefficient of x cube. So, that will be m cube and then uh, minus 6 m square m. Then here plus 11 m uh, then minus 6 as the coefficient of x cube and x square and the coefficient of uh, the term uh, 3 m square c m. Then here minus 6 into uh, 2 and c where the term that is then here then here we will get 11 c so that is the coefficient of x square then coefficient of x will be uh, 3 m c square here minus 6 c square here we do not have a coefficient of x then 1 plus m then the constant terms will be c cube della della plus c equal to so this is what you obtain in this differential equation 
now m cube minus 6 m square plus 11 m minus 6 equal to 0 so that is all for the equation so you can see that m equal to 1 is the root so when you solve for the equation the roots are going to be uh, 1 we will get upon dividing m minus 1 which divide a yeah. so the roots are m equal to 1 and 2 and 3 so that's the root of this equation now let us substitute these values of m into the uh, second highest degree coefficient of the second highest degree term and let us look for uh, the value of c so the second highest degree term is 3 m square so you can see that c is common in every term so 3 m square uh, minus 12 m plus 11 c equal to 0 so when m is equal to 1 so you can see that this coefficient is non zero so you will get 3 minus 12 plus 11 equal to 0 so that is by c is 0 and again when m is equal to 2 so we will get 12 minus 24 plus 11 c equal to 0 again this coefficient is non zero but again c will be 0 and when m is 3 we will get 27 minus 36 plus 11 so this will be uh, again non zero so the product is 0 that means c is 1 so therefore when m is 1 2 and 3 uh, we will get the value of c to be 0 so therefore the asymptotes are 1 equal to mx plus c varin c l are 0 varin so that will be y equal to x y equal to 2 x and y equal to 3 so these are the asymptotes of